The NFL draft has been over for more than a week now, and I wanted to show you three undrafted free agent signings that I think might make an impact on the Eagles roster at some point this year. The first guy I want to highlight is a cornerback out of Dickinson State University, Jabalcom Liggins. This guy is 6'2", he's listed himself as 213 pounds, and he looks like just pure muscle. This guy is really impressive. The viral video of his interceptions and and also receptions too. He actually played a little bit of wide out uh, at Dickinson State. It's just ridiculous. He just looks like a man amongst the boys. He's got, he plays with agility, he plays with speed. He has a pretty interesting story too. He uh, grew up in Memphis, Tennessee, and when he was 11, his mom moved his family to Bismarck, North Dakota at a chance for a better life. The, the Sports Illustrated article is actually really interesting. But at some point, she wanted to move to Colorado, and he didn't. He, he wanted to stay in North Dakota, and so he ended up going into the foster system through uh, friends of the family. That's where he was able to grow and develop this knack for not only track and field, but football as well. And at some point, he was considering a career in the military. But at some point, he just decided to give football a try. That's when he went to Dickinson State. And man, people are absolutely lucky that he did because they could have missed out on someone like this. Hopefully coming from an NAIA school won't be a, a huge challenge for him as, going, as far as going up the next level. I don't think it will be. This guy just looks like a natural athlete. I think the only thing he has to work on is probably hand technique. He's going to be going up against guys that are far superior than what he's used to playing against. This guy looks pretty good and maybe down the stretch if the Eagles are a little thin in the secondary he might actually be able to come in and, and uh, surprise everyone. This next man I want to highlight is uh, offensive lineman out of Weber State and I hope I pronounce his name correctly Isua Opeta. This guy is 6'4", 302 pounds, and he made quite the buzz at the combine. They actually put up 39 on the bench, which is just ridiculous. And when you watch his tape, he actually looks fairly agile. He actually originally went to Weber State wanting to be a defensive tackle or defensive end. That's actually where they had him at first was defensive end. And at some point during his, his freshman year, they came to him and they were like, hey, you know, you'd start if you started a guard we actually think that you you'd be able to do it or tackle and I guess the rest is history that's when he switched over uh, and his on-field drills at the combine looked really good too he looked very comfortable um, if he's able to have a combination of strength and agility I mean I don't see him not being able to make an impact at some point especially with Jason Peters being 37 years old hopefully he goes through the whole season and is actually able to win another Super Bowl with the Eagles. That would be, that would just be such a great way to go out. But I know you've got Brandon Brooks coming back. I think this guy could really be able to come in and, and, and make a make a contribution, at least as a rotational piece, almost immediately. When I saw a couple of interviews with him, he just seemed like he had a good head on his shoulders and he knew exactly where he was going. And I think that's gonna be able to translate well to the next level. We'll see if it does, but I think he could actually make an impact, again, down the stretch or even maybe towards mid-season, depending on what happens with the Eagles offensive line or with Brandon Brooks, you never know. And finally, the last guy I wanna highlight is a man out of Wisconsin, TJ Edwards. I'm actually surprised this guy didn't get drafted. Now, one con, is that his shorter arms might leave him vulnerable to stronger runners. He may actually uh, have, they may actually be able to break out of tackles more easily with him, but when you watch him play, he plays so strong. He tackles so strong. He's He finishes every play. It seems like wherever the ball carrier is, he's either got him wrapped up or he's right behind him, ready to assist with the tackle. He does have a smaller frame at 6 even, 229 pounds, but he certainly doesn't play like it. And, I, and like I said, his arm length is a little bit of a concern, but he seems to put himself in the proper position every single time. I've seen where he may have uh, a tackle broken, and that's just because 
he's taken the poor angle, but honestly, that's really not the case most of the time. Not only does he finish plays and he can tackle, he's good in, he's good against the run, he's good against containing mobile quarterbacks, and he's pretty good in the passing game. He seems to blanket receivers and running backs really well running cross routes or running flats. I also wanted to highlight this last play where he actually picks the ball off. He seems to just be an intelligent player who plays passionately. So anyway, that's it. Let me know what you think of these three guys and whether or not they might actually make an impact this year. I appreciate you checking out the video. Please consider like and subscribing to this channel for more not only Eagles content, but also NFL content.